Welcome back to Oplin LDTV. Blessings to everybody tuned in. And in this video, I have some bad news for you lurkers who love to go through your husband's phones. Fellas, if you love to go through your ladies' phones, it is now officially federally illegal to go through anybody's phone. Let's get into the clip where this Dallas attorney explains it a lot more clear. This hurts my heart to deliver this news. It is now illegal to go through your husband's phone. And this is for every ear that can hear me. This is not just a Texas issue. This is also a federal crime. The Federal Wiretap Act states, it is unlawful to intercept any wire, oral, or electronic communication. It is also unlawful to disclose the contents of the wire, oral, or electronic communication. Y'all know what's considered electronic communication? text messages, emails, DMs. I was in court waiting on my turn, watching another hearing before me. It was a divorce case and the wife was on the stand talking about adultery. Her attorney then started the process of admitting text messages into evidence that showed the husband was talking to this woman and it was very inappropriate. The text messages 100% proved husband was cheating. There was photos, there was conversations about the other night. All of a sudden, husband lawyer jumps up and says, Gerana, I think you need to admonish the witness about her Fifth Amendment right to self-incrimination because she's about to tell on herself and admit to a crime. The judge then proceeds to tell her that how she came about getting those text messages out of her husband's phone is potentially a violation of the Texas Wiretap Act and the Federal Wiretap Act. He looks up at her lawyer and says, counsel, the fact that you're in possession of unlawful potential wiretap material incriminates you as well. And the judge did a quick recess so everyone could go consult with criminal law attorneys. So just to be clear to all y'all out there who heard that she is a, an attorney in Dallas, I know a lot of y'all like, well, I don't live in Texas. Well, again, this is a federal law. So no matter what state you live in, <laughs> you can't do it. But, yeah. <laughs> but like I said, I mean, I know in this example that she used, it was a woman with her husband, that example, but like I said, it goes both ways, vice versa. And even as today, uh, girl on girl, boy on boy, whichever situation you got going on, this is a federal law. But yo, let's get into the, the Federal Wiretap Act. The Federal Wiretap Act, originally enacted as part of the Omnibus Crime Control and Safe Streets Act of 1968 protects private communications from unauthorized interception. It prohibits the international interception use or disclosure of any wire, oral, or electronic communication unless specific legal criteria are met. Here's a breakdown of what the law protects. The highlighted example we're talking about in this video is electronic communications. This covers a broad range of digital communications such as emails, text messages, and internet data transfers. Oof, that's wild. What happens if you violate this federal law? Those found guilty of violating the law can be fined up to 250K per violation. Also in prison, imprisonment. Violators can also face up to five years in federal prison for each offense. Dang, <laughs> that's a hefty price. <laughs> but I get it. Some people just gotta know. But it's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers going to federal prison over this. I'm looking forward to seeing the stories about it. Some exceptions and legal interception, which is this is the one we see mostly on First Forty Eight where law enforcement can intercept communications, but only with a court order, commonly called a wiretap warrant, based on probable cause that a crime has been or is being committed. Now, as I said, there is really no such thing as deleting texts or pictures because when they have a wiretap warrant, take your phone in or just them get in contact with whoever your phone authorizer is, your phone service, 
they can pull all that up. They can pull all that up. As well, like I said, uh, one of my favorite shows is the first forty eight. So I've seen plenty of situations where they pull up a whole thread of said deleted DMs from an Instagram or deleted texts. Like, man, this is <laughs> they crucial with it. They real crucial with it. But yeah, hop in my comments and let me know how you feel about this being a federal law. It is illegal to go through anybody's phone. Man, this is a game changer. I know some of y'all are celebrating. And I know some of y'all are crying. But like I said, I'm looking forward to see how many motherfuckers are going to be going to federal prison over this. But hop in my comments. Let me know how you feel about it. It's the God, Applin LDTV. Reminding you that when you're in these streets, it's quality over quantity. And I'm gone.